What's up guys? So today I will be overclocking my graphics card with the MSI Afterburner. I found this method on this website and it's only for RTX cards. So it says it right here, NVIDIA has introduced a new way of, of overclocking and tweaking starting at RTX and only for. Basically you can now automatically overclock the GPU by pressing the OC scanner button. You can have a software algorithm test and check intervals and voltage frequency curves. The scanner will try to, to determine a stable overclock this is presented in a curve and that curve can be applied for your tweak. So scrolling down they'll provide pictures for you to see and then these are the steps right here. So first step is to set the power limiter to max then you want to find your stable memory frequency. Now I did start at 1000 but I got a scan error so let's go down to 900 and then I'm going to click this and that's just going to turn my fan speed up click the checkmark button. Now control F and then hit OC scanner. And now I'm going to click scan. This process can take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. So now we just wait. Okay so after 17 minutes the scan is completed and here it says average overclock is at 133 megahertz and that's exactly what I wanted. Earlier I was only getting 30, 30 to 33 and then I would test it and when I test it the confidence level was at 47 percent whereas here this picture says, shows 90. So uh, I went down here with, to this chart. Uh, my 2060 is right here and it says 7595. So I added 595 to my memory clock, redid the scan, and that's how I was able to get 133 megahertz. Now all that's left to do is to run a test because I want my confidence level to be 90%, not 47, which was what I was getting earlier. So now we wait again. After five minutes, the test is completed in here. You can see the confidence level is 90%. Exactly what I wanted. So X that out, X this out. And now what I'm going to do is press the check mark. And I want to make sure I want to save this profile. So I'm going to click save, click one. Okay, so the last step now is going to be to run a benchmark. Uh, the benchmark I, that I will be using is going to be the one called Heaven. Um, have my quality set to Ultra, Tessellation Extreme, disabled on these two, anti-aliasing times 8, resolution 1920 by 1080. Uh, another thing, uh, another cool thing about the MSI Afterburner is that it allows you to customize overlays. So I have this uh, overlay here to the right, and it just shows the specs. So uh, what this uh, does is it basically stress tests your GPU to make sure everything is stable. So if I experience any crashes, any frame drops, then to reconfigure the uh, memory clocks, the core clocks. And then after oh, oh, I forgot, so I need to click benchmark here. So now it's going to start benchmarking. And then at the end of this, it's going to give me a score. Okay, so the uh, benchmark has completed, and this is my score 2,220. Uh, minimum FPS of 22.5, max is 168.7. Um, when I, I, I actually ran this benchmark on my sister's computer when I installed uh, the GTX 1060, and she actually got a higher score than me, but that's only because I had lowered the settings um, for the benchmark. Whereas mine, like I kind of maxed out everything right here. See? Well, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.